Rebound from the pandemic, college students can now look forward to a normal fall semester after spending more than a year of virtual learning. Most are planning for in person classes. News 5's Mayo Davison breaks down what parents and students need to know before the semester begins. As summer winds down, college students are gearing up for a more normal school year. I'm honestly so excited. Um, back on campus for one, actually in person, not being over computer screen. We've progressed a lot. I think UCCS did a great job like promoting, you know, vaccinations, getting the whole community into, you know, a space where we can come back together. At UCCS, classes will be mostly in person with some remaining remote. It's easier for us to start out open and then contract versus start small and try to grow our classes. Like many colleges, face coverings will be optional for vaccinated students, but the unvaccinated are encouraged to wear one. Students will be required to get vaccinated. How at UCCS we're doing that is a, a uh, attestation form. So students simply go online, uh, check an attestation form. Yes, I've been vaccinated, I'm planning to be vaccinated, or no, I choose to uh, exemption. At Pikes Peak Community College, vaccinations will not be required. Part of it is for the idea that to a large extent, we are trusting our students to be adults and to make the right decision here, and that does influence their safety and the safety of others. Classes will be mostly in person, but students will have an additional option this year. We're going to have more classes than ever that are hybrid. We call it high flex. And this is one of the takeaways from COVID. A lot of people like the flexibility. It's not just about the flexibility for some students, but the resources that come from being back in the building. It, it was pretty hard for me. Um, during the pandemic, I was on the street studying, doing my math and everything. Always watching out for you, Colorado Springs. Mayo Davison, News 5.